open up your browser then search for dll me you will be redirected to this page and here select the first link dllme.com okay so this is the website which you have to come to and over here you can see the search option in the search option you will have to type in your missing file which is being shown in the error so identify it and you have to type it in so you can better write down that error message when you get it so that you can search for that particular directory which is being missing from your system files that is from your operating system file so if you are getting some error of this sort api ms win crt runtime error you will get some error like this when you are giving your exit exams so click on this link or this one in the drop down menu and you will be redirected to this page where you have some programs which you have to download there are n number of versions for it choose the appropriate one for you according to your bit of the operating system whether if it is 32 bit or 64 bit i'll be explaining how to identify the 32 bit and 64 bit in the later part so click on it now we can see some information regarding to this particular program this is the link where you have to click to download this particular program and some information regarding to this error it is being given so if you are getting this type of an error you have to download this particular file So now we click on this link to download it. When you click on it, you will be asked for a security check to confirm you are not a robot. Just click over here and you will be redirected once again to click on the link for downloading the particular program. So it is of 22.7 KB. If you scroll down, you can see the instructions are being given how to run that particular program or how to execute it to make your system error free. That is, once you place this program in the particular system file, you won't be getting any more error messages. So, we click for this. To download it, your downloading should start automatically, and you can see it above this taskbar over here. It is already been downloaded, it is a zipped file, and in Windows 10, you can unzip it automatically without any other softwares. Otherwise, if it is a down version like Windows 7, if you are using Windows 7, you will require a unzipping tool like WinRAR or WinSip. So click on show in folder so you can easily locate where it has been downloaded. If you don't know how to use it, go to your downloads in this drop down menu. It will be in the downloads only. You can see this file, it is there in the downloads. Now extract it, click on it and Give a right click on your mouse, you can see extract files, extract here. So click on this extract here and it will be unzipped over here. So these are the two files which we have to copy paste into our system directory, that is into our operating system files. So I'm copying it, right click, copy, then I go to the programs. 
so before going and pasting let me tell you how to identify how what is the 32 bit and which one is your 64 bit or what type of operating system you are using when you come onto this particular desktop you can see over here system properties so click on the system properties and here you will get the information what type of operating system you are using here you can see the system type is 64 bit and the processor is also 64 in some system it may be 32 bit and 32 bit operating system and 32 bit processor so now if you identify it come into your windows folder that is where your operating system files are being saved in the system you will have a windows icon on it click on it and enter into the windows file here if you scroll down you can see system 32 as well as system 64 now since this is a 64 bit operating system I will be placing those two files which I have copied earlier over here. Right click and press paste and select replace the files in the destination. I, I already have those files but they are corrupted. Now I am going to copy it with a new file. I have to give the administrator permission because it is Windows file. So click on continue. Once again click on continue because we have two files. Now it is being pasted into the Windows system files. Henceforth when you run the exit exam that software you shouldn't be getting that runtime error. If you are still experiencing that error you will have to reinstall your Windows because your Windows itself should be in a corrupted state. So only if you try to reinstall the windows, it can be fixed. Thank you.